All right, you're looking at the Razor Salmosa. I don't know where they come up with these names. You know, before there was the whole like snake thing, the Death Adder, and uh, Copperhead, and now it's like the Salmosa. Is it named after Salmon or something? I really don't understand, but it's an excellent mouse, and uh, they pretty much precisely made it for a certain type of user, because there are different types of users of mice, and they're all gaming, but they have different grips, and uh, that's where it becomes different. So. Uh, real quick, let's demonstrate the grips first of all, uh, just so you guys know. Now, most people just palm it. Palm grip is you just drop your palm on it. Now, unfortunately, your buttons would not be in the right place if you were palm gripping it. If you like to do the palm grip, you need to look at the death adder or the lachesis or lachesis. I don't know how you say that. Too many consonants. Uh, now, the other one is the claw grip. Claw grip is obviously like a claw. And this one would be uncomfortable because you wouldn't be able to really claw it. This is meant for a completely new user. This is called the fingertip user. And they're the persons that are holding it here and here and their fingertips. And they're kind of keeping their entire hand off. So this is for very fast, quick movements. This is, uh, it's definitely the one that gives you the most fatigue. So it's not the best method for LAN parties. But if you're doing a tournament and you're doing a first person shooter, uh, it's what most of the pros do as the fastest uh, method of moving your mouse around for very precise movements. And that's what this is made for. This is made pretty much precisely for you guys. Guys, um, if you like the palm grip, you're going to be looking at the death adders and the lachesis. If you have the claw grip, you're going to be doing the copperheads and the diamondbacks. But this is for the fingertip users, and that's that's literally fingertips and fingertips. You're not palming it, you're not clawing it, you're just doing fingertips right there. So this is meant specifically for you. Now, this is a great mice. Uh, 1800 DPI engine on this thing, switchable on the bottom. If you look right there, you have 800 at the top and then 1800 if you do it down and over here is your polling you have 125 megahertz polling at the top you have 500 megahertz polling at the middle and then the bottom is a thousand megahertz polling and uh, kind of to explain what polling is, it's kind of your computer, how often your computer checks up to see if the mouse has moved. And at 1,000 megahertz, is doing it 1,000 times a second. Uh, so you're polling at 1,000 times a second. That's a very high number. Plus, it's very affordable. Uh, it's very affordable and... It looks really sweet too, and I'll tell you what, it lights up right here. If you can't, you can't see it right now, but this does light up right here. Um, so it is very nice for that. Extremely high resolution, extremely high DPI engine, and uh, comes in this really fancy little box with their 1800 DPI 3G sensor, which they advertise very nice, uh, very nicely. They also advertise the 16-bit ultra-wide data path, which is through the USB cable. Um, also advertised heavily and uh, obviously works very quiet. It's called acoustically quiet but very slippery Teflon feet. And they have the big Teflon foot at the back and the two small ones in the front. That's because the weight of your fingers is going to be pushing down here. So you need a little bit less surface area but it matches up perfectly. And uh, this thing is extremely slippery uh, on your mouse pad. It's got that uh, on the fly sensitivity adjustment so you can change it the way you want it. And uh, again, it looks great. Three mountain buttons just so you know. This is an only a three button mouse. So this is pretty much for gaming straight up because there's no back buttons and forward buttons. If you like to assign stuff, macros to those buttons, this one might not be for you, but for everyone else and especially that first person shooter type, uh, professional gamers, people that are making money, making a living off their gaming and they're using that fingertip style of grip, this is right up your alley. This is one of the fastest mice uh, as far as that goes just because it's specifically tailored for your grip, the Razer Salmosa. Another one added to their line ridiculously large line with tons and tons of products on it. They Razor's the bomb. And if you want to get educated on gaming grips, gaming mice, how to be faster with your mouse, go to their website. They actually teach you a lot of stuff. They're very serious about their mice, as you can tell by their very nice brochures that teach you how to use everything. Even though it's such a simple device as a mouse, they really tell you uh, just about everything you could possibly want to know about your mouse, how to use it, how to get the most out of it. And you think there's not a lot, but there is a lot. And more than you can imagine, plus your driver discs, all included in the box, lots of stuff. If you have any questions on it, email me. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Razer Salmosa Gaming Mouse, type in R99-2000 onto any of the websites listed here. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.